But I be on prima donnas, Swiski on diamonds. You already know what time it is. I put stones, both hands, that's a full flex. Play the hand I was dealt, that's a royal flush. The Lakers coming through the tunnel with swagger. This looks like a team that's all set to go to work here at home. Hi everyone, time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. Joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge is with us on the sidelines. And we've got a quick moment now to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Christian Wood. We've seen him regress as a rebounder these past few seasons. His numbers have come down in that department, and I'd like to see him concentrate on bringing them back up. I'm sure the team would as well. You can never have enough rebounding. Look at the opening lineup for the Memphis Grizzlies. Out in the wings for him, Smart and Bain. Jackson is out there with Bismack Biombo. And it's Morant in at the point. And for Los Angeles, Vanderbilt and Davis man the post box. James is out there with Cameron Reddish. And it's Prince in at the three. And Greg, these are two of the more stacked teams. When you look at their depth, sometimes that can be a challenge for a coaching staff. No doubt about it. Anytime you've got to divvy up minutes, somebody's going to be unhappy. But. You need a deep roster if you want to contend. Now here's Prince. Vanderbilt setting the pick for Prince. Passes it to Vanderbilt. Lock at six. Davis kicks to Vanderbilt. From deep, Prince. And the three ball is good. Prince has got the first bucket of the night. A three-pointer for Los Angeles. Here are the Grizzlies with the ball. It's a three-point game. Here's Morant. Oh, they've got their eyes on him. Calling the foul right away. And he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. It's truly hard to exaggerate just how explosive Ja Morant is on the floor. No, because there is no exaggeration, Greg. It's just whatever you say and you see, it is impressive, and he is elite. The explosiveness of Morant is just incredible. His motor and work ethic are both tremendous as well. From deep LeBron, here's Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. And the second chance becomes a dunk. We could feel over here. GA such a good, aggressive play in the paint. Now here's Morant. One of the most consistent producers in the league. He's averaging around 25 and a half points a game. Morant throws it down. Oh, he's got some hops. Morant, this man loves to attack the rim whenever he gets the chance. And when I mean any chance, I mean any chance. Prince against Bain. Prince, the pass to LeBron. Over Morant. And James with the basket on the assist from Prince. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. And you don't see many teams take these shots as often anymore. It's nice to see them take advantage in this area. Now, here's Bain. He's a guy we see deliver on a nightly basis, averaging about 24 and a half points a game. Davis dishes to LeBron. Jackson against Prince. Now the pass to Davis. Jacks up a three. They get it again. And again, it's the Lakers. Well, look, it's no secret that Davis can be a dominant figure on the glass. And he just turns rebounds into points so easily. LeBron against Morant. Outside, smart. On the wing, Jackson. Memphis moving it around. Just five on the clock. Here's Morant. That one goes in. A great score. Morant showing his poise on that shot. Austin Reeves is checked in for the Lakers. The Grizzlies shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. Morant no good on the free throw. 
Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship crowd in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. Here's Reeves again, Los Angeles. And when we talk about the importance of versatility, he's really got it all on the offensive end. Morant surveying the D from 15 feet away. Here's Jackson. Plays it up off the glass. Oh, this is what you love seeing. Jackson Jr. using that size advantage on the offensive glass. Here's Reeves. Guarded by Morant. Vanderbilt a screen on Bain. Prince finds Vanderbilt. Over in the corner, Reddish. That one off the back iron and out. And Morant's got the ball here for Memphis. They trail by three. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Well, if they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting, they'll need to be stronger on the glass. They were completely outmatched in the last one. And a lot of that begins with effort. Putting in the work and closing out possession should make this a much more contested game. Vanderbilt a screen on Morant. And stolen by Biombo. And here we go. The Grizzlies on a fast break. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. What a slash right there from Smart. So good at putting defenders in tough spots. Route GA, he was the heart and soul of the Celtics. But now, Marcus Smart is a Grizzly. Reminiscent of another first-team all-defensive guard who left game green to create grit and grind in Tony Allen. Memphis hoping Smart has that same kind of impact. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Aldama's checked in, and LeBron James gets it to go. I like how fast Bron makes decisions, reading the defense ahead of time, rising and shooting with confidence. Morant passes to Bain. Morant with the screen on Prince. Here's Bain. He's now one for two with that bucket. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Here's Reeves. He has been playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. And Memphis making a change here. Tillman's checked in. Number two, Xavier Tillman. Vanderbilt the pass to Reddish. Three on the clock. Here's Reeves. And too long on the shot. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. Here's the screen. Here's Morant. Here's Tillman. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And the Lakers with another miss. Memphis leading. Pass to Bain. Over Prince. Bain, no good. Los Angeles is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. LeBron passes to Reeves. Floats it up for James. Hammers the alley of crew. Oh, yeah. The old man can still do that. LeBron James with the catch and finish. Here's Morant. He has six. Left side, Bain. Bain sets the screen for Morant. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. And Bain, the bucket on the assist by Morant. Bain's got five now. And this is part of Morant's role. As a guard, he's responsible for finding the open man. Prince against Bain. Over in the corner, Reddish. 
to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Morant outside. There's a good screen. Outside, smart. Pass to Tillman. Good and smart gets the assist. Now it's a four-point Grizzly lead. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Now here's James, defended by Eldama. LeBron with the bucket. He's got eight. Just a master of the mid-range. Look, LeBron James, he knows how to get to his spots and knock down the shots. Now here's Morant. This game he had 28 points. Takes it off the glass. And the Grizzlies lead by four. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Here's Reeves. Headed by Morant. Smart deciding where to go with it. Passes it to Morant. Puts the move on. Oh, wow! That is powerful. And man, does Morant put on a show. He's got such insane athleticism. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Looking at Los Angeles, they want to turn it around after the loss to Miami. Scoring efficiency was an issue in that one. It took them too many shots to get their points. Yeah, it looked like they were settling out there, not moving the ball enough to generate the type of shots that they want. Prince, the pass to Reddish. Over smart. The shot by Reddish, no good. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. Morant left side. And again, it's Memphis with the three. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. There's 53 seconds left in the first quarter. LeBron outside. And they get it. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Now Morant. 13 points in the game. With the drive, and then Morant slams it in. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Yeah, they're in control on both ends of the court, and it's always impressive when you build a double-digit lead in the first quarter. Here's Reeves. 24-point outing in their last game against Miami. And how about the passing? We've seen this from him. He's just absolutely shredding the D to pieces right now. Again, the miss by the Lakers. Bain kicks to Morant from deep three-point territory. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Grizzlies lead by 11. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Grizzlies. They've started the game the right way, penetrating the defense and attacking the rim. They're just not settling. And guys, they've also done a great job generating offense from their defense, forcing turnovers and making the defense pay for those mistakes. So on the floor to begin things for Memphis here in the second quarter, we've got Derrick Rose. Sharon Jackson is out there with Santi Aldama. And it's Roddy in at the two-spot. Lakers trail by 11. And here is James. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Miami. And I love what he's been able to do on the glass, securing some extra possessions for his team. Great for a franchise like Memphis. Is there a specific way they have to build? Through the draft. I, I mean, they aren't going to get the huge A-list free agents, so you have to hit on your picks 
You also have to keep your guys happy. Sign them to smart extensions. Nice play by Jackson Jr. Just taking what the defense gives you. Every play, just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Russell against Rose. Outside, James. James cooking from deep. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Well, John Morant might be right-handed, but he looks to drive left. When he was a kid, he broke his right arm flying off a trampoline. Now that arm is shorter, and actually, that right hand is smaller, too. He says, that's why I dribble with my left hand. I'm able to control the ball better. In my head, I think I'm left-handed. Back to you. <laughs> Trade secrets, right, David? Hey, thanks for the report. Conchars checked in for Memphis. Luke Kennard comes in for Derrick Rose. Lakers trail by 10. Russell looking around, and the pass to Wood. This is to James. Shoots from the line. And finished off by Wood. It's plays like these why Wood has been given so much more opportunity. His motor just never stops running. Gennard, the pass to Concha. And here's Jackson. Pass to Kennard. The tray. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Kennard's got himself on the board with three there. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. LeBron's shot is good. James is so good at disguising his pull-up jumper. Pass to Eldama. Shoots the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Reeves uses the glass to finish the way. Reeves has got his second basket of the game. And the Grizzlies leading by seven. Anjar with it. Scoreless thus far. Outside Jackson. This is it to Kanan. Off target from outside. The Lakers have gone four of six in the field here in the second. Outside, Russell. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Wood with the bucket. Even with the defense all over Wood, he stays strong, able to find the inside look. For Memphis, they've gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. Anjar on the wing. Now, here's Kennard. Taking a look at the scoring numbers, right now he averages about nine points a game. Frank, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. Reeves can't hit. Memphis has gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter, only hitting one of five attempts. A pass to Concha. A three ball. Buries the long range jumper. Conchar's got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. Russell against Kennard. On the wing, James. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And Kevin, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP level seasons from guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. And the Grizzlies with possession here, following the three by the Lakers. Wood against Jackson. Back to Conchar. Pass to Roddy. Just three to shoot. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 14-6 run. LeBron passes to Reeves. Here's Russell. And the rebound by Jaron Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Kennard. They set the pick. 
Here's Roddy. Still yet to score. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. Wood's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Reeves. It's rebounded by Roddy. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Kennard, the pass to Roddy. To the paint. Stolen. Here's Reeves. Seven points in the game. Outside, Russell. Pass to Reeves. And there's a whistle. That goes on John Concho. That's his first foul. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And, of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Davis is checked in for James. Vanderbilt comes in for Hachimura. Reddish, he's checked in for Austin Reed. And it's Prince in for Russell. Now here's Morant. 15 points in the game. And the foul on Cam Reddish. That's foul number two for him. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for Christian Wood. Coming in the floor for your Lakers. Number one, D'Angelo Russell. And so it's Memphis with it. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Smart with this screen on Prince. Morant left side. Just five to shoot. Trying to end the drought. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. And Morant won't be denied. Exceptional at pushing through contact. Prince outside. Back to Russell. Loads it up for Davis. And so Morant will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. Yeah, I mean, they had their chances, competed deep into that game, but had a few lulls there that just kind of took them down. They played pretty solid basketball, but a few miscues is all it takes to turn a win into a loss, especially against a good team. Bain, no good. Locking the arc down. Defense knows it's on them to scare off those shots. Davis setting the pick for Russell. The pass to Davis. Here's Vanderbilt. Takes a three. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. That one on Smart. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Nails the third. With the Grizzlies, Richard, there's so much talent. They just haven't made a big run in the postseason. Yeah, it's coming. They've lost to the Warriors and they've lost to the Lakers the last two years. Both of these teams just have a tremendous amount of an experience advantage versus the Grizzlies, and it's shown. Still a little bit of a street shooter. Morant has been deadly accurate tonight. Man. Vanderbilt the pass to Russell. A minute 42 left in the first half of basketball. Now, Bain. He's coming off a 22-point game against Toronto. And don't forget about his assists. His playmaking was as good or better than his scoring. He was in complete control out there. Pass to Roddy. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. And the Grizzlies lead by two. Los Angeles has gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Russell against Morant. Russell passes to Davis. And stolen by Biombo. Bain looking around. Davis against Morant. Kicks to Smart. To the left side wing. Three pointer. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got four rebounds now tonight. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive 
driving the basketball, settling far too much for jump. Back to Russell. Now, here's Reddick. Guarded by Bain. Here's Davis. Los Angeles with another miss. Smart on the wing. He's guarded by Russell. Smart passes to Morant. And Davis sends it back. Too much this, too much that, too much length from AD. Get that out of here. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Memphis out in front. They lead by two. Got a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Taylor Jenkins is here with us in the second quarter. Coach, tough sledding at both ends of the floor. How do you fix it? You know, it hurts our offense, and we're not able to get stops and get out and running, so not a good quarter for us. You know, we just got to keep being aggressive defensively, be a little bit more disciplined. And we'll see if that can pick up as the game continues. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Hello, folks. Is this the halftime show? Yes, it is. And kicking it off, let's quickly look at the Western Conference standings. Well, I think for Memphis, they haven't looked intimidating thus far. The hunger to improve uh, just isn't there. That worries you. I'm starting to feel that this team needs a culture change. And taking a look back now at the first half of play, the Lakers find themselves in a tight one. These guys make plays for one another. They're in harmony out there, putting a lot of stress on their defense. Man, it's hard to get stops when you're scrambling a couple people. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Guys, John Morant has been sensational. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. Vanderbilt and Davis man the post box. Reddish out there with LeBron James. And it's Prince in at the three slot. That's the Laker five. When Jaws knocking down that three consistently, it takes his game to a different level. And here is Vanderbilt. Following John Moran's three. Prince against Bain. Davis with a screen on Bain. Prince. And Prince with the jam. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Pass to Reddish. Back to James. Passes to Vanderbilt for the tie. It's good from long range. Vanderbilt's got the game tied up here for the Lakers. Great find by Braun using his basketball IQ. If you don't understand how smart he is, just ask him. Here's Moran. Oh, wow. yes. Oh, there is nothing more fun than putting a big guy on a poster. That is the definition of an aggressive play. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Los Angeles has gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Vanderbilt kicks to Prince. And it's Biombo with the rebound. The Grizzlies shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Wasted no time on that one. And it's a five-point Grizzly lead. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. The pass to Vanderbilt. Back to James. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Davis. Nice move. Pass to Vanderbilt for three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Going off 
defense. Davis keeps his head up and maintains awareness. That's how he spots a wide open man. LeBron against Morant. And the rejection by James. And he's able to get it back. Tries the spin move. Outside for Jackson. Payne for three. A rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got six rebounds now in the game. He dishes it to LeBron. And they double up James. Reddish finds James. A miss that time would have put him up. And so it's Bain with it. He'll bring it up for Memphis. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Outside, smart. And it's off from three-point range. The Lakers trade. Entering the league as a defensive stopper and a hustle guy, Greg. Marcus Smart has really rounded out his game. And Kevin, he's put in the work. Retooled his shooting mechanics, playmaking style, but what's been most consistent, he still steps up in the biggest moments on both sides of the ball. Now Morant after the miss three from Cam Reddish. Three-pointer. The offensive rebound. Here's Biombo. And Davis sends it back. Pass to Reddish. Out left of the wing. Vanderbilt the pass to Davis. Shoots over Biombo. Davis with the bucket. Davis has got eight points. This is the defensive intensity you have to have against Davis inside. But he still powers through it. And the Grizzlies call their first time out of the game. Let's take this chance to look at the teams that have been the league's most efficient passers this past month. Fourth spot held by the Lakers. And what stands out during this recent stretch is just how well they passed the basketball. I mean, this is a club that has become really unselfish. James against Morant. Outside Jackson. To end the drought. Good. And the nice assist from Morant. Morant's got his third assist on the night. Lakers trail by three. James kicks to Vanderbilt. James sets the screen for Vanderbilt. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Jackson Jr. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Memphis. The name of the game in the modern NBA is making threes. Space in the court, and that's exactly what they are doing tonight. That's been all night long. And also dominating the offensive boards, and that's been winning them a lot of extra looks at the hoop. Austin Reeves is checked in for the Lakers. And Memphis also making a switch. Aldama's checked in. Morant passes to Jackson. And here's the fast break. Davis leading the way. James wide open. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And that is where Davis hurts you the most around the hoop. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Now the Grizzlies' backcourt is in the conversation for the best starting backcourt in the league. Desmond Bain says Ja is obviously the focus, and that's why I feel like we're a good combo. If they want to sell out on him and pack in the paint, then that leaves me open on the perimeter to do my damage. Kevin, back to you. He does a lot of damage. David thanks a great tandem indeed. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. LeBron James with the assist. Memphis has gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. Crosses over. And Morant finishes in zone. Morant's got 26. So creative with the ball in his hands. Morant is adept at creating offenses for himself. Now, here's Vanderbilt. Defended by Aldama. 
Davis with a screen on Smart. Shot clock at five. And finished off by Davis. Great work by Davis in the screen roll. Good at making himself a big target in these situations. Memphis has gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Outside, Smart. Morant against James, and James picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Timeout called, the Grizzlies. First team foul. Timeout called for Memphis. Hachimura, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Russell comes in for James. And the Grizzlies also with a sub. Tillman's checked in. Right side, Bain. Memphis moving that ball around. Five to shoot. Passes it to Tillman. Good. And the nice assist from Morant. Morant's got assist number five here tonight. If you want to throw out of the double team in the NBA, you really have to sell it. Now here's Davis. He's got 14. Outside Russell. There's the pass to Davis. A fadeaway again, Los Angeles. Ooh, nice touch from the mid-range. Davis proving how effective he is from that spot. And Morant's got the ball here for the Memphis Grizzlies. Following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Suns at Footprint Center in Phoenix. That matchup falls in the middle game of this three-game trip. Now, here's Bain. Seven points in the game. And it's Morant. That time on the assist by Bain. Morant's got 29. What a confident shot by Morant. Gets the hot pass and puts it right up. Davis with a screen on Morant. Russell with a wide open look. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Russell against Morant. Over Russell. And it's Morant missing. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Davis picks to Russell. Pass to Reddish. He feeds it to Davis. Over Morant. That misses off the backboard. When he's got the ball, those inside looks are usually money. Despite the miss, they should keep going to that. Davis, the pass to Reddish. And here is Hachimura. Pass to Davis. And they double up Davis. Now, here's Reddish. He's tightly guarded. Really left alone that time. Reddish just got his first bucket of the night. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Now, here's Smart. He has five. Pulls it up. Connects. The jumper drops. Smart's got five points now in the quarter. Just such a quick release there by Marcus Smart. You love to see that just catch, touch, and release. Passes it to Reeves. Back to Russell. Now here's Davis. He kicks it to Russell. Over in the corner, Reddish. Gray D that time from Bain. They are losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. Aldama with the ball. No good from outside. Oh, yes, he can! Yes, he can! The buzzer, that's why he's that dude. Yeah. Wow, what a way to finish up the quarter. Yeah, that's one in a hundred type shot. But hey, that is why you just throw it up there. And we wrap up the third and looking to be an exciting fourth quarter. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. 
tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. On the court for Memphis to start the fourth, we've got John Conshaw. Jackson is out there with Santi Aldama. Then there's John Morant. And it's Roddy in at the small forward. There's the triple. Good. And the nice assist from Morant. Morant's got six assists now in the game. If anybody has questions why John Morant went second overall in 2019, it's his ability to move the ball and create hoops for him. not only himself, but a... And finished off by Wood. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. You'll take it. There's a screen. And there's the pass to Roddy. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Team putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. Memphis leading by four. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Russell against Morant. With the step. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. And the Lakers making a change here. Reddish has checked in. Memphis also making some changes. Tillman's checked in, and Smart subbed in for Morant. Conchar, the pass to Smart. Back to Conchar. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on LeBron James. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. That's the line for the Grizzlies. John Contra. And he knocks down the first one. And so he's able to get one of two. And really, if not for the miss, they'd be sitting in a much better position. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And that will tie this game up. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. You're smart. Here's Jackson. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. And the Grizzlies lead by two. Here's Reeves. Conjar covering. A chance to check out Los Angeles' upcoming schedule. On Sunday, they'll be facing Kawhi Leonard and the Los Angeles Clippers. Then on Tuesday, they'll host the Toronto Raptors. And for that game against the Jazz... There aren't many other meetings that are as evenly matched as this one. Both teams can give and take punches, and this one, I think, is going to come down to the wire. First one falls for him. Good on both. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Smart against Russell. Unloads from 13. Nice shot by Smart. Look, and if you're the defense, you have to honor Marcus Smart's mid-range, Jay, or else that's exactly what's going to happen. Jackson against LeBron. Wood kicks to Russell. Gets a hand on it. And that is an absolute heartbreaker of a turnover. In a close game like this, that might be enough to impact how it ends. Baines checked in for Conjong. 
Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Outside Jackson. Pass to Smart. Memphis moving that ball around. Outside, Bain. Fires for three. And James pulls it down. LeBron's got six rebounds now in the game. Unloads from nine. That's good on the jump shot. LeBron's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. Good work on the block. I like when LeBron gets aggressive this close to the rim. Pass to Jackson. Good and smart gets the assist. 11 points for Jaron Jackson. He's been locked all the way in from the floor, and he's the number one reason why they're winning right now. Russell passes to James. Russell sets a screen for James to take the lead. That shot missing. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Smart finds Bain. is a Tarati. Outside, Bain. Now the pass to Roddy. Over LeBron. And Roddy gets it to go. And the Grizzlies lead by four. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Fires the three. LeBron with another miss. He just looks off this quarter. Looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. Outside, Bain. Good on the triple. Now it's a seven-point Memphis lead. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll time see out, out. how it pans out. I think when you've got it going for three-point range, you've got to keep it going. It's a good way to kind of pile up the points quickly. And the Lakers with some changes. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Wood. Vanderbilt comes in for Austin Reeves. And it's Torian Prince in for Russell. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, guys. Listen in on what Darvin Ham was talking about with his players. Now, he talked about keeping confidence. He said this game is close, but we know we're the better team. Now it's time to go out there and prove it. See if they can come back in this one, guys. Thank you, David. You can see the change in approach from him since the break. He's been a menace after being held scoreless in the first half. Morant against James. Outside, smart. Bain with a screen on LeBron. Here's Morant. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Morant's got 12 points here in the second half. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. James kicks to Vanderbilt. Davis with it. Biombo on him. The eight footer. James. Oh, LeBron getting forceful on the putback. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Jackson setting the pick here for Morant. Braving to the basket. And Morant throws it down. I don't know, but it seems like Morant's got springs or something in his shoes. James, the pass to Reddish. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Cameron Reddish. That free throw good from Reddish. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And here's Morant. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Vanderbilt kicks to Prince. Bangs home the trifecta. 
And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. Memphis has gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. Now here's Morant. Has to be on both. to Bing. Beyond the arc. And again, it's Memphis with the three. And the fans are so fired up after that triple that trimmed the lead at the other end. And now, they are stunned. Pass to Reddish. That's the three fly. It's rebounded by Memphis. Morant outside. The pass to Jackson. Outside, Payne. Jackson setting the pick here for Payne. Knocks it loose. And so it looks like the Grizzlies will retain possession here. Has to be on both. Six on the shot clock. Payne gets to smart. Target with his three. Lakers trail by five. Vanderbilt finds James. James Jack hammers it down. How many times have we seen LeBron hit a huge bucket in his career? I don't know. I've lost count, but that was beautiful to watch. Outside Jackson, the three. The rebound by James. LA's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Memphis has gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. Takes a step back. Bain kicks to Jackson. Morant with a wide-open look. The Grizzlies with another miss. This isn't a done deal yet, but they have got to move quick. Yeah, they need to focus on scoring every possession and not turning over the ball. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Shot and game clock separated by five. You can probably expect to see them slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possessions. Second team. And so they choose to intentionally foul. LeBron James. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. And we have seen Morant step up as a leader, wanting to go to the strike down the stretch. And those were some big-time shots. Those free throws helping make this a three-point game. Timeout called the Lakers. They trail by three. There's 25 seconds left to play in the final quarter. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The Grizzlies pull it in. And now they foul and stop the clock. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Second one is good. Being both at the line, and it's a five-point game. Wow, I tell you what, those free throws will give them some much-needed breathing room. Two-possession game now. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're behind by five. 17 seconds left in the fourth. What's your take, guys? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. Yeah, it has to be. Oh, James flushes in the alley -oop. And this is who LeBron James is, an incredible leader. When the game is tight, this guy willing to step up. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And so both free throws are good. And it's a five-point game. 15 seconds left in the game. Here's Vanderbilt. Frames it from downtown. Vanderbilt. 
Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. And there's the call on James. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, and luckily they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. The confidence Morant has in himself is impressive. He brushes pressure off like it's nothing. So a close game sees Memphis take this one. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, and Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Ja. A lot of swag on this team tonight. Who's responsible for that confidence? I feel like we all talk to each other, even the coaching staff. Coach let us play with a lot of freedom. Everybody has the green light. So, I mean, there's no, no reason to lack confidence when you have a coach who believes in you. Um, every step of the way, I just let you go out there and play your game. So uh, we always just preach, you know, keep shooting, make or miss, and we're behind you, folks. You all look like a confident bunch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, John Morant.